Hello, in this video I will make an review of the Variations Advanced Bulk Operations pop-up, which you can find here. This pop-up contains a functionality that allows you to manipulate by the variations of variable products. So, let's filter some variable products. Okay, we found seven products. Let's look if they have variations. Yes, they have. And for this clip, we do not this. We will recreate it. Select all variations. Delete. Okay. Done. Let's go to the Variation Advanced Bulk Operations pop-up. And now, firstly, let's select some variation. Color, Material and Size. Generate possible variations. So, these variations will be created. If we do not want to create, for example, this variation, we can uncheck it. But for our example, we need all. Start bulk adding. And one little remark. The story, the history, doesn't work for these operations. So, act with, with it with caution. It may be cups of the database. Close. Just now we can see new variations for the filtered products. So with creating color simple, we selecting attributes and select the terms. Generate combinations, uncheck any combinations which we do not want to create, and start bulk adding. That's all. Next, default combination. What does it mean default combination? Combination. So now we see the product is currently out of the stock. Yes, sure. Because there is no even price here. So let's firstly set some price for this variation. After price setting, we can see that there is possible to select variation variables, but so they are not predefined. For example, we want to have predefined this combination of variations. By the way, uh, just now uh, it's out of stock, but because we just created this variation, so I sent the video to the files and made some changes. I in the stock placed some products. So let's update it. And now let's reselect. So it's important to remember about this that if you created some new variations, they will be out of stock because there is no price and there is no items in the stock. So, so sh they should be selected. So I won't let these variations will be predefined and one large and black. So in such case, I should switch our variations go here default combination this operation is only for variable products and not for variation so there is no sense for us to show variations and let's select attributes so i want black m1 and large now small and blue okay m1 blue and small 
will be predefined after the page loading. So now there is nothing changed. Okay, let's apply combinations. Let's let's set this combination as the default. So let's re refresh the page. And as you can see, now we can uh, we set default combinations combination for this page, not only for this page, but for all these variable products. So it's clear with default combination. Let's look ordering. What does it mean ordering? Using ordering we can order order the product variations. So we have the group of products which has the same variation and we want to order them. So let's copy any product ID which has all set of variations, get the product variations. So we have it already. Okay. So what we can do here, we can using drag and drop, select, change ordering of the variables. So let's blue will be first, then green, then black. Let's play, play, click on edit on it. Variations. Just now we, we can see this order. Black, blue, green. Star. We can always terminate it. Okay, let's refresh it. And now we can see blue, green, black. So it's clear with all ordering. What about attaching? What does it mean attaching? Just now we can see th uh, three attributes in our variation. Color, size and material. But what about if in the future we will create any uh, another attribute which will be necessary in our products? And uh, how to select for each variation, it's it's term term for of that new attribute. Okay, so imagine that we created already uh, this attribute here. Yeah. So we created this attribute, for example, this one, and created terms for this. We can select it here. Select any by default will which will be so for example let it be n2 then copy any product ID which has exact set of vari variations we need to get combinations. Okay, as you can see we got all variations. And they're all variations of this product. By default, we have this N2. So let's select another variance. Ignore it. Okay, so we selected a variance which we want to see in the shop. Any vari uh, attribute variation has not that new attribute. This should be selected and select here ignore. Okay, attaching. Done. Let's update. Now you can see that we attach it everything we want. So just now we implemented new attribute in the our existed variable products in their variations. Next, visibility. This operation is only for attributes of variable products. So we are clicking we can see attributes here and we can see their uh, their options visible on the product page and used for variation. 
So we can see and check it here. Save attributes. Press save attributes. But what about if you can do this in the bulk operation? So add attribute. Select any attribute. This one, for example, and let it be. Let it be not visible on the product page. Set visibility. Okay. Done. Let's check it here. Yes, it's and check it. Next. Swap. This operation is only for variations of variable products and not for their parents. Select which term is replaceable and which term is substitute. Okay. Imagine. We have this attribute. And in some time we understood that this attribute really should be this one. Which already existed, of course. And uh, how without removing carefully change this one to temprano swap will help you so let's do this we want to change this one and one to this one ten one okay and one so this will be changed and one will uh, numana will not be selected and uh, will be selected new attribute which by by the way will be added here also automatically let's check it so attribute is done it's been added automatically and variations as you can see yes it's been changed we n1 changed to t1 and in the same way we can swap another terms of the previous attribute and at the end when all every every variation will be changed we will not need this attribute so how to detach it using bulk to detach it let's do it just now we should activate it in the columns okay now let's filter again our products filter let's select all them let's enable binit editing and let's go here if you will will remove all terms from here and will press save as there is no terms this attribute will be detached from the product save and using binit editing we do the same operations for all the products so look on this just now we can see this numano attribute let's refresh it and just now it's been removed so after operation of the swapping when you reattach new attribute to your variations you can detach attribute all the attribute in the way i just shown you okay next deleting there is two ways you can delete attributes first way is just remove all variations just select delete all variations and start deleting of course firstly you should filter or select in any way variable products 
So let me show you how to do little variations on the example. Let's show variables. Of course, I can remove all variations from this product, but I decided to remove only from these two. First, I can select. Go to deleting, delete all products. The selected products were, uh, operation will be applied to the selected products. Products. Start deleting. And done. There is no variation in these products already. Okay, next. What if you want to remove only some variations from 100 of variable products? Imagine we want to remove this black and one large. For this case, we should filter that variable products which we want but in which we want to remove these variations. We already did it as you remember in the filter. Go to deleting and select here color, material and size. So here we should select black. M1 and large. Black M1 and large. Start deleting. As you can see, it's been removed. So we can remove not only all variations, but also combination, but also targeted combinations. And one little thing. If you need to remove some such variations, you, of course, you can wait while we'll be removed first combination, then last combination. I can suggest you open the plugin page in different tabs, then do the same selection as you did in the First tab and make your deletion here. So you can start pro a process of deletion in this tab, in this tab, in this tab, and all that will be work fine. So if you need to make any bulk operation, which with the field, you can do this in two or three or how many you want tabs. So, what about these operations? That's all. Additional information, if it will be published in the future, you can find here and read about here. Uh, one little thing. Remember that these operations works when attribute is selected at the taxonomies. I mean, they should be created they should be created here. And if variation just added at the text, uh, these operations will not be working. That means nothing. Totally, the plugin doesn't work with such variations as the text. It works with such variations as taxonomies, which added on its special page. So, that's all. See you.